Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here, and today I'm going to the Queen's Comic Party. My buddy Billy runs it every, I think, month or two, and uh, it's in different bars all over Queens, and this time it's in Brooklyn. It's near my shop. It's about a mile walk, so it's going to take me about oh, 10 minutes to get there. And uh, there's a lot of people I know that are actually selling there, and it's, I think it's going to be fun. Go check it out. I'm not really a party guy, so I'm not going to be partying. I'm not going to be drinking or anything. But I'm definitely going to dig through some boxes of comic books and I'm going to dig through them with you guys. All right, let's get there. All right, I'm here at the bar. Let's go check out the comic books. Portfolio boxes. Or oh, a lot of kids to help you, Matt. That's a I brought a commercial truck. I was like, yeah. Man, so well, so glad you showed up. Man. You guys showed up, man. Oh, I love it. Oh my God, Jer Queens guys, Brooklyn guys. Oh my God, this is amazing. Absolutely, brother. You know the way I am. I always, I always do that. Of course, yo, let me show you something really weird. You know the uh, the Deadpool phrase, yeah. uh, the craze. Still see old. I was like, I was like, I got a dollar man. I got a dollar man. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Only one, and it's the variant too. Only one ever sold any of I I will take it. <laughs> I, I used to buy those by the store box for like a dime yeah. a piece. Yeah. Absolutely. And then to get the two Ted Boom cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so sick. Oh, that's a double card. Yes. And still oh, seals. Still you seals. should grade that. Someone will pay was, stupid money for that. The only thing that sucks is when you grade it, take though, it they take it out of the bag. Take it out oh, that's true. That's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like, Leave it like that. That's a one of a kind. And it's the variant, too. It's the white variant. Usually it's the black with the white. It's, it's like reverse negative, whatever you call it. Uh, yeah. And you call them Did you see the, um, I have to go through the other one. 3D puzzle bag? 3D puzzle bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get, you get a black. 3D puzzle bag? Yeah, it says, it's Street side, it's going to have this. Of course. Oh, yes. Yes, you're all looking at it. Okay, yes. These these are Crazy. most of them are golden age. Yeah. Their condition is ridiculous. I'm talking about 19, 1946. I've, I've never come across a collection like that. But all of these, all of these are like. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I got this one in a double cover too. Yes, I got this one in a double cover. <laughs> this one. That's a cool cover. Isn't that? Oh my gosh. And it's uh, 19, 1948. It's just I'm gonna say easy 9496. You just don't you don't see it. You don't see that copy. I thought so. But but file copies usually have stamp file stamp or they have the perforations in it. They put it into the binders. I have a few of those. I have some uh, uh, cash rooms like that. But yeah, it's like the easy Yes, 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 yes. yes. And those are around. They have a lot of Oh, yeah. Oh, my. I, have, I have a couple myself. <laughs> I, I, I believe I have it for uh, uh, Little Lulu. I have, I have for Little Lulu. I believe. I, believe. I could be wrong. I have, you know, it's, 120 more boxes. I, I forget. Yeah, yeah. sometimes. Oh, okay. oh my god. I knew I bought one too. They're so handy. They are. I got a. I got a ten in there. Do you see it? Do you see the ten? Yeah, there's a, a CGC 10.0 in there. Got it. Yeah. Nice and bright. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's in, it's in that row somewhere. I can't remember. I've yeah. never had a 10 before. Oh I've never actually seen a 10. 10s yeah. are rare. You're going to send 109.8 yes. and you won't get a 10. And it's a regular comic. It's not square bound. Yeah, it's not a square bound book. So to get a 10, it's like... Holy cow. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Tanner just like the guy had too much coffee that day. Yes, yes, like, yes. He's like, oh, 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 10, 10. Oh, it should be 9.8, but I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, that. I don't see nothing wrong. Right. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's Is my vision all right? All right. Yeah, oh, I got to okay. change my glasses here. Like, what's going on? Like, 10 shouldn't exist. I'm telling you, that it, and especially on a standard comic. Yeah. Square bounds, I've seen 10s. I've seen 9.9s. Nine I've never seen it on a regular comic. It's like, who who the heck, you know? He must have gotten laid. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Worth one dollar, nine point eight, fifty bucks. Ten bucks. point oh, three thousand Three thousand dollars, yeah. <laughs> it's so true. It is so true. Because it might be the only one in that condition. That is. I checked yeah. the CGC census. It's yeah. the only one. Plus my uh, one in ten uh, Black Panther 18, the marriage of uh, Black Panther and Storm. Double signed, Mike Turner, Stanley, only one on the CGC sets. And they're not signing anymore. They're not around anymore. So I was like, where are you going to get it? So I was like, yeah, it's a one-on-one. What are you pricing? 
you know, what, what do you price it? Sky's the limit, almost. Yeah, literally. It depends on how desperate you are to pay some bills that week, yes. right? Yep, yep, absolutely, absolutely. Otherwise, you let it sit until you find that one guy that's willing to pay 20 grand or whatever crazy right. price. Very good. So true. How's the shop doing? Uh, it's doing good. Awesome, man. It's so been a really right. busy year. It's crazy. I'll tell you, COVID made everything uh, so much better for us. It's yeah, like, no, it's, it's like, sad to say, but it, it, I when it first shut down, I started fire selling stuff, and yeah. then like I realized stuff was just doubling and tripling oh, yes, in price. Yes. Literally five dollar books that go for twenty five dollars now. I was like, it's crazy to me. You know, and I pay ten cents a book, so for me, I'm like, all right, just give me the twenty bucks. I don't, I don't need a hundred. I just give me the twenty. Yeah, it's so, uh, so sick. Actually, uh, Erod just called me up. Erod two and two. He was like, uh, he was like, oh, you know, because he did a show, he did a sale at my house uh, two weekends ago. I think it was. And he was like, we're gonna, we're gonna do something. And uh, Preston Defects came down too because they, they buy from me all the time. And Gary actually was supposed to come down and we're gonna make it get some more and all that stuff. I think we're gonna get together and we need to do a little song. You know, get, get a place in Jersey. So we were just talking. My boy is doing one in the Bronx next weekend. I'm doing my small sets. I got a couple of guys coming over in the morning. And then I'm gonna show support, go down to them. Right. And he's like, yeah, we're gonna meet up, we're gonna talk. And you know, I, I love your idea. I think with all the Instagram stuff that we got going on, I don't know how to help my thing when, when it's, I'm almost at 5,000. I've been doing it for like eight months. Like I'm like, yeah, eight months, not, not even a year, not even a year. Yeah, I don't know how it happened, but you know, like, okay, I take that back, I do. Because I try to do good in the community and I try to support everybody. And then of course, with, with Gary's video, Preston the next video, e rock video, that old, and three men in the basement, they got me on the crawl. So you're only Don't worry, Donald, where you going? Where are you going? I trust you. Come on. It's also your only online presence. It's not like you're competing with your own Facebook and Twitter page. Right, right. Anybody right. who wants to know what you're up to goes to the Instagram. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Exactly. And uh, I'm not really tech savvy, so I got my better half manning yep. it a lot of the times. And it's like, I, you know, I'm a plumber. <laughs> 27 years, that's what I do. I, I can't. I, I can't run that thing. I'm under a sink. I'm like, yeah, let me check Instagram. Oh, something hit me in the face. Oh, I can't. You know, I, I can't. Where's your 10 I want to look at it. Oh, the 10? It's yeah. here. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. I see it. Four here. Number one. Oh, take it out of the uh, bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want you to, I want you to see it. This is like so... Too bad it wasn't like something really awesome. <laughs> That's the thing. Only because of the writer is, is, is why, and they are optioning it, so I'm kind of like... I've been grabbing every Mark Miller thing I can find yes. for like a buck, just in yes. case, you yes. know? Yes, yes. It's a great spec, and it's a cheap spec, too. Yeah, so yeah, like, exactly. The minute that thing explodes, it's like, yeah. I the only thing is that first series that they, they did was like so-so. It wasn't yeah, that good. It wasn't, so. Yeah, it's like you really have to you really have to struggle to make that into something. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is cool though. Like, uh, which one was it? Uh, Jupiter Rising. Right? Yeah. Yes, Jupiter Rising. Yeah. I never watched it. I didn't. You know, I, I I was really I like Mark Miller's stuff, so I was reading it. You know, so I was like, all right, I'll watch it. Sure. And it was just it was kind of slow paced. Yeah, I, I don't can't. know, there's something about it that just didn't work for me. It's a price too. It, it, it should have been good. Yeah, I'm off there. Everything should be good, right, I guess. <laughs> I'll be back to look at that side. Of course, of course, absolutely. What? That was the final week when they were in New York. Then when they moved to LA, they did it over. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Every flavor of Snapchat. Oh, this is this. Beautiful copy. Yeah, I, I usually write yeah, things as a big thing, you know, but uh, you see some of the things coupon clips or the cat cover or anything like that. And of course, before I will take it out. The design and then they took it away. Oh, I think. I think we should just. Yeah, the design's great, but it looks awesome. Thank you. Anything else in that area besides Ellie or no? There's a McDonald's across the street. There's Staples. It's bad. Yeah. There's a pizzeria. There's a fancy Italian restaurant on the corner. Like too fancy for me to walk into. You know, to, to, get, to, get, to get a bottle of water. Yeah. Jesus. My scribble. <laughs> They did just hang a banner outside. And it's my feel of which is nice. Oh, that's I'm cool. I'm surprised that you were giving up football for... I'm going back for football. You can't miss football. It's also a nice and toasty inside. They turn the heat on. 
Oh. So we'll see what we'll see what happens when it starts getting dark. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't worry, how are you? Doing well. Doing well. Thank you for coming out. If you have any questions, just let me know. And if something else, definitely doesn't... go yeah. look at your wall books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go right ahead. Run. Oh really? I that's the one. It, I had the uh, like the second print mm -hmm. of her on the cover. Yes. I was like, shit. I, I sold it last party, and I and I that's the one that I was like, I probably should have held on to that for my own. My coworker would say I was gonna sell it anyway. Oh. So I gave her. She's taking all of them. So for the deal, like, yeah. Because there's a couple in there that'll you know, and the rest is just gonna sit there. Right. She wants all of them, please. Yeah, just <laughs> go I have all the Gun of Thunder ones too. Yeah. I'm thinking about grading some of them. Especially, do you have the uh, have God Butcher? The first print though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just do it. I was just buying the one because I, I, it's a great fucking story. And I like Jason Aaron. I'm like, cool, I'm just going to buy the book. Yeah, yeah. The team was grown in on the way over here. Mike, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's out there. All the Oh, these are really good. Okay. Yeah. Yes, he is. Like that. We were raising the story. Does he know the whole sign way? What was in the comments of stuff? So we used to he doesn't. Strike we're zone? older than he is. Yeah, strike zone is shit. It feels weird saying that, but... I'm, I'm you don't not, know, I'm but not, he's 90. I'm not from Astoria. Um, I'm from Mastiff. Oh, I had an apartment there. Yeah, and I'm all, I was probably developing it fine when a lot of those stores were open. Yes. I, was, I was born in 89, so I missed a lot of those oh, shops. Yes. So by the time I had the money to actually... Probably a good idea. Yeah. Probably, by the time I had money to buy comics, there was nobody who was in Los Yeah, sure. At that time. Even even Forbidden Planet isn't what it was. No. Even uh, even a post like 10 years ago, it was not what it was. No. It's, it's, it's it not, changed thir 30 years ago. 
Yeah. It's a book. It's a place where you just read because they fed all the books over there. It's, it's a tourist spot. It's good yeah, for yeah, like yeah. trains and figures and, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But for like new releases, unless you live over there or work yes. there. I went to Texas every time I just go to I go to the planet after Texas. Same thing with the town. Like unless you work in the <laughs> right. It's, it's a convenience. Yeah. Also, yeah. Like, I wouldn't buy anything if it's not what's in Victoria. Because it's just it's too rich. What else are you getting? I gotta look through the... Look over here. Through the little thing. Mm. Well, no, maybe you have like a, another Fantastic Four one in there. I doubt it. This is the last of what you have. <laughs> Pretty much. I have all of them though. <laughs> Are Looking. you sure? Uh, uh, check all no, them. I probably have about 98% of them. I think there's two I might need. Did you ever give them me that you don't have? Well, maybe, but. I gotta get somebody to put these in the pack, but I'm having a problem with them too. Yeah, no, I, I don't think there's anything I need. I'm, oh, Princess Huff? No, I have both versions of her. I love that one. Oh, how much do you want for your, your con pigeon? Which one? The con pigeon. Con pigeon? The con pigeon? You want it? Yeah, I didn't get it. I missed out. 10 bucks. <laughs> Give it away. All right, so. Well, for uh, you. Do I have blackjack? Do I have blackjack? Take it. I mean, not take it, but. Yeah. No, no, I know. I. How much you want for blackjack? I don't remember if I Raul, have one or see, not. This is uh, Raul's the main. Oh, God, he put. He said this one's worth for good money. It could be worth that. Look who, oh, look at what I am giving it away to you. Yeah, you that's. Put the <laughs> Okay, I will say for both of you, give me 25. 25? Okay, done. Because I love you. Oh, I love you too, Anthony. You're so sweet. You are an amazing person. Here, I'll, I'll grab a couple more. Oh, now you're just adding to it? Yeah, well, I'll just, I'm going to get the four that I don't have. Okay, so you, you shot I have all those. and then I'll tap off. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just, I'm just double checking what I, I, I have all those. There's Billy Bob. Hello, hello. There. All right. Let's see. We've got all kinds of stuff. We got a big. 
think I'm getting that guy. Ignore the prices. Yeah, true, true, true. The Queen's comic party was fun. I bought a lot of comic books. More than I wasn't going to spend too much today, or I didn't think I was going to spend a lot. But I was finding some cool stuff. 
and it, I had a lot of fun because it was like a party kind of it was all friends actually I, a lot of people I already know so it wasn't like a bunch of strangers which was kind of cool um let's see I bought a bunch of comic books from Streetside Anthony you guys might know him he shows up on a bunch of different channels uh my friend Anthony Geeky Peoples he was there he gave me a really good deal uh ooh, my friend Will was there uh, I don't think I found anything he had for sale, but it was nice to see him. And, uh, whew, I'm tired though. <laughs> Got across the street. But yeah, I found some Golden Age stuff. I found some Jenny Friesen Wonder Woman's for two bucks a piece. I found all kinds of cool stuff I'm really happy to pick up. I got some cool stuff from my uh, neighbor Kyle. He had a whole bunch of fun things out. And, uh, whew, I just, I bought a lot today. Not, not like Comic-Con crazy amount, but a lot for just going to like a little teeny event. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I think it's worth going. There was a lot of great prices. I felt like everything was reasonable and I could find things I actually wanted. You know me, I kind of collect more oddball stuff because I have most of the superhero stuff. But if you like superhero stuff, there's a ton of that there. I got a link to the Instagram for the Queen's Comic Party because I think they have an event once every like one or two months. It's definitely worth checking out if you're in the New York City area. All right, let me show you what I got. Okay, let me show you the pile of comic books I bought at the Queen's Comic Party. First, we had a couple comic books. I bought these from Streetside Anthony. Uh, I actually asked him, I was like, uh, what kind of deal can you give me on this? And he's like, I'll give you a $35 discount. Basically, I'll give you $5. He was joking around, of course. But, you know, he said he would give me a good deal. So basically, I looked through his bin and I grabbed this funny 3D it's uh it was really beautiful condition like it's got a couple of spine ticks but it looks like a modern comic book so this is you know very fine very fine plus very nice condition he had 100 on it 100 i'm not 100 percent sure if that that might have been a little bit high but i asked him how much he wanted for it he gave it to me for 60 and he threw this one in for free so basically 30 dollars a piece or Maybe like 20 on this one, 40 on this one. Both these, this one is beautiful too. It has, I think down here, there's a little teeny tear on the back cover. There's maybe like an inch tear. It, but other than that, it looks like very fine, even near mint, which is amazing for an old comic book from the 1940s, I believe. I think he has that at 49. This one is, uh, uh, no, I guess I, I don't know if that's the year or not, but these are early 50s, late 40s around there. I thought those are awesome. He gave me a great deal on those. Amazing comic books. Really happy to pick those. I've been kind of wanting to collect Joe Palooka stuff because I really like the covers and I just like the old cartoony stuff. Uh, one of the vendors had uh, Exiles number three. This is the first appearance of Captain Carter. I love the Peggy Carter character and her as Captain America or Captain Britain, I guess. I guess here she's Captain America. Very cool character. Uh, and her first appearance, they had it marked at 50, which is a fair price. I think that's what it sells for. I said, can you give me a deal? He said 40 bucks. I said, sure. Really happy to have that. That's a cool comic book. Okay, and then uh, I went back to Streetside Anthony. He had a little stack of comic books here that were not in bags and boards. He was confused. I was confused. Uh, he didn't know why it wasn't bagging and board because this is in really nice shape. It's like a very fine copy. And this, again, I think is early 50s or late 40s. Uh, 1951. It's probably a very fine. It's got like a little bit of a chip on the bottom there. Maybe like a couple of finger pulls right there. But it's a beautiful condition. So he basically said, uh, you know what, give me 20 bucks. And then he gave me these two file copies for free. Which, you know, they have three hole punches. It says file copy. But it's actually in really nice shape other than that. So that was cool. So basically we paid like $7 a piece. We have two Spookies and the Daisy and her pups. I thought that was really cool. I really love this old school, just cartoony stuff. Just anything from the 40s and 50s. Really cool to me. I like getting it for a cheap price. And I like getting it when it's in pretty decent condition. So those are really awesome. Oh, I bought from my friend Anthony. He was selling there. He sold me, this is, uh, is it We Live number one, but it's a New York Comic Con Virgin variant. Really cool. Uh, I wasn't quite sure the value. It goes for anywhere from like 25 to 100 something. So I gave Anthony, I think I gave him 65. So I might have overpaid for a little bit or maybe underpaid. I don't know. The price is all over the place. Either way, I want to collect all the Wii Live variants. And I mean, this one's limited to 300 pieces. So even if it's not worth 65 now, I feel like it will be one day, especially if they do a cartoon or a show on this series. 
So I was happy to pick that up. That was really cool. And I'm happy, you know, if I overpay a little bit, I don't mind if it's a friend of mine because he gave me a really good deal on some Funko Pops. Okay, and then another vendor had some indie comic books. I thought this one just looked so fun and goofy. I really love the cover. So we have Kelly O'Hara. I don't know if she's related to Bucky O'Hara, but it's Cutie Bunny number three. I just thought the artwork looked really fun inside. It kind of has a Bucky O'Hara look to it, so I don't know if it's related. But I decided, I, had, I think they had them $3 each. So I picked out that one and then Cutie Bunny number two. Again, just a really fun cover. And the artwork was really fun. I love this indie stuff. So basically he said if he would do four for 10. So I grabbed a couple of service. So service number 51. I don't mind paying 250 for a service issue. In pretty good shape. And service number 47. Yeah, I love those. I would like to get a full set of these eventually. Just the first, well, especially issue number one, but the first few issues are really hard to get for a good price. But for 250 each, I was happy with those. Those are really cool. And then they also, they pulled out one magazine. They said, oh, would you like this? It's like a, I think it's late 70s, early 80s, 1982. Just like a fun kind of goofy indie music magazine. But I thought it was really fun jukebox characters on the cover. I thought that was really cool. I love that it has a record. Obviously, I sell records in my shop, so I like record themed things. So I grabbed that. They gave it to me for three bucks. I thought that was pretty cool. Then my neighbor Kyle had a whole pile of cool stuff. I uh, he had, I saw these. He got these a few months ago. He was offering them for, I think, $25. I love Omar Dogen's anime kind of artwork. I think he does a really nice job. Let me take this off. So he wanted $25 for the set of four. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to pay $25. I told him I'd probably be more interested in paying like $3 a piece. He said, all right, pull out some more stuff and we'll make a deal. So we got... Uh, Let's see, Street Fighter Legends Sakura number one. And uh, number two, these are all Omar Dogen artwork, which I really enjoy. Uh, number three and number four. So those are cool. And then uh, he had a really awesome Sabine Rich Vampirella cover, which has like a foil inlaid. I don't know how much this is worth. He had a mark 30. I offered him 20, he took it, which is cool. It's signed by the author of the comic book. I wish it was signed by Sabine Rich. Either way, I was really happy to add that to my collection because I love her artwork. And then we had a Brave and the Bold 200, which is the first appearance of Katana. He had it at 45. 45 might be like a hair high, but I decided I was willing to pay him the full price on this just because it's a cool key issue. And he gave me a discount on that and that. So really happy with that. I love getting cool key issues like that. And then I just, there's another vendor that had a whole bunch of two and three dollar newer comic books. So I grabbed a bunch that I just really enjoyed the covers. A lot of Jenny Friesen artwork and Amanda Connor. So we have Harley Quinn number 17 with Amanda Connor artwork. Really like that one. Um, Niobe, I'm not sure. I think it's a Jay Lee cover. Not 100% sure, but just a beautiful cover. I'm going to look inside. I'm just, if it is Jay Lee, I'm curious if he did the interiors. No, it's not Jay Lee interiors, but it still looks really cool. Yeah, that's a neat looking comic book. I mean, for $3, I'll buy almost any Jay Lee cover. Just, I love his artwork. It's really cool. Uh, and then we had some Jenny Freeze and Wonder Woman, which I knew I was still missing a few of these. So I grabbed all the ones I thought I needed. There might be duplicates, not 100% sure, but for two bucks, I don't mind. It's half cover price. If for some reason I do have it, I'll put it in my store for four bucks and it'll sell eventually. And then, oh, let me move this up just a little bit. Okay. Then we have Wonder Woman number 55, another beautiful Jenny Friesen artwork. Uh, Joshua Middleton, Batgirl number 27. I might have that one already, but I love that cover. For $2, I had to get it. A uh, Catwoman number three art germ cover, beautiful cover. For two bucks, I had to get it. Uh, Wonder Woman number 53, Jenny Friesen cover. Honestly, I probably should have been buying stuff to sell in my shop. But, you know, when I go to comic events, I usually just go because I love going. And I just love looking for comic books that I want. Wonder Woman number 41, beautiful Jenny Friesen cover. Wonder Woman 52, Jenny Friesen cover. Love that. Uh, number 50, definitely didn't have this one. Beautiful cover. Love that one. Uh, number 40. Again, $2. Uh, actually, this one was $3, and this one was $3, but these are beautiful covers. Gorgeous cover. Uh, number 43 was $2. Again, Jenny Friesen. Number 42, $2. Uh, number 38, $2. Bucks. 
And number 39, two bucks. So a lot of really cool issues for two bucks. I can't really find stuff like this too easily for two bucks online. So I had a lot of fun at the Queens Comic Party. I think they have another one in December. I'm gonna put a link to their Instagram if you're in New York City area and you wanna check it out. I think it's worth checking out. It's just a fun little afternoon of digging through comic books. If you wanna get a drink and just hang out and party a little bit, that is cool as well. But I just love digging through bins of comics. So I had a ton of fun.